everyone in this series we will be discussing about gate 2022 textiles questions so this is a one mark question starting with the very first question that is cotton fiber has maximum amount of cellulose in number option a cuticle option b primary cell wall option c secondary cell wall option d lumen these are the four cotton fiber structures the what is cuticle it is an outermost waxy layer it contains pectins and then coming inside the uh, layer then it comes second primary cell wall then secondary cell wall and then the then the outermost this is a hollow layer it is known as lumen so it is a cuticle then primary then secondary then lumen it is a cotton for fiber morphology so primary cell wall contains a fine network of fine fibrils and secondary network contains concentric layer of cellulose since this cell wall contains many layers of cellulose so it contains the maximum amount of cellulose and then the correct answer is option c secondary cell wall now coming to the next question high extensibility of wool fibers is due to option a presence of scales option b alpha helix structure of proteins option c cross linking option d beta structure of proteins so if you talk about the extensibility of wool fiber then what is known as extensibility extensibility means the opening of the structure of wool fibers in such a way that it comes out to be nearly a straight chain configuration a straight chain configuration in the form of ij keratin this type of configuration is what is required in the extensibility of wool and it is due to the alpha helix structure of proteins so the right answer is option b so coming to the next question in a comber the component that rotates both in the forward and the backward direction is so in comber the comber the role of the comber is to make the yarn more fulfilling that is improve the softness and kind of thing so in the what is the rule what is the component that rotates both in the backward as well as forward direction so if we, you know about the basic concepts and the machinery of the com mach comber then if you know the detaching roller the nips are arranged in such a way that it rotates both uh, one time front and then other time the in the backward direction and what is it's the function of the detaching roller the detaching roller draws the clamped fiber out of the web and is held by the feed rollers inside the nippers so the detaching roller option d is the right answer now coming to the next question yarn that has helically twisted fibers at the core and the belts or the wrappers on the surface is ring yarn, rotor yarn, compact yarn and air vortex yarn. This is a straightforward one mark question in the in rotor yarn the helically twisted fibers are present at the core. If we talk about the ring yarn, if we talk about the ring yarn, the ring yarn is the very strongest yarn. So the twist due, due to the twisted fibers, helically twisted fibers in the rotor yarn. So option B is the right answer. Now coming to the next question. It is also a one mark question. These, these are one mark straightforward questions. This is basic uh, textiles. So if you know the basics, then you can easily answer these questions. There is no kind of special mathematics or a special kind of concepts is required. Uh, the ingredient that is not used in the sizing formulation is starch, polyvinyl acetate, polyvinyl alcohol and polycarbonate. So what a sizing? Sizing is used in the weaving machine to facilitate the weaving uh, in the formation of the fabric where warp and weft are interstices and they form 
फैब्रिक वोवन फैब्रिक सो द फॉर्मुलेशन इन साइजिंग तो साइजिंग इनग्रीडियंट्स बेसिकली आर स्टार्च मेज सी एम सी कार्बोक्सी मिथाइल सेल्यूज पॉलीविनाइल क्लोराइड पॉलीविनाइल अल्कोहल कॉर्न पोटैटो एट्सेट्रा सो इफ यू नोटिस इन ऑल दीज थिंग्स दैट आई हैव सेड जस्ट नाउ पॉली कार्बोनेट डज नॉट कम एंड पॉली कार्बोनेट इज नॉट यूज इन द साइजिंग इनग्रीडियंट वाई दिस इज नॉट यूज एज अ साइजिंग इनग्रीडियंट बिकॉज इन ऑल पॉलीमरिक कंपाउंड चेन द आइडिया इज टू मेंटेन अ स्ट्रेट काइंड ऑफ चेन दैट फेसिलिटेट्स द साइजिंग प्रोसेस बट पॉली कार्बोनेट ड्यू टू इट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर it does not it is not used in the sizing formulation whereas starch or corn cmc is used and it forms a layer that that is used that is lubricating layer and it facilitates during the weaving process now coming to the next question the machine that uses horn gears is warp knitting circular braiding sectional warping shuttle loom so if you have read about the horn gears it is used in circular braiding machine and in uh, it in horn gear is a part of the circular braiding machine which consists of two horn gears and three bobbins two horn gears and three bobbins so you should also remember the parts of the machines the the individual functions of each machines the basic roles of every machine the important parts and their functions as well so it will also help these types of questions are generally asked in recent gate textiles because the in the textiles what they basically check is your understanding deep level of understanding is required so you should focus on these types of questions as well for your next coming gate examination so coming to the next question direct measurement of degree of thickening of cotton fiber is carried out using afis hvi caustic soda method double compression method if you have read about these their measurement of thickening it is also directly proportional to the maturity ratio in which we calculate the maturity ratio of cotton fiber it is uh, it is 0.577 m so if you have read then you should know these machines also so come if you know about what is afis afis is advanced fiber information system so this is afis what is the role of afis it is used for direct measurement so all these things if you notice these are all indirect measurement techniques whereas in afis it is a direct measurement of degree of thickening of cotton so and on which principle does afis work you should also know this it is based on the principle of aero mechanical fiber processing principle you should also know these kind of similar things on questions these can be asked in your further gate questions this is a one mark question coming on to the very next question a relatively flat middle zone in a comb sorter diagram indicates higher fiber length variation lower fiber length variation higher mean length lower mean length so if you have read the comb sorter diagram so it is made something like that it is not a perfect pitch it is not a perfect kind of thing but it is a you will get the rough idea from this ki how this comb sorter diagram works so this is a, a typical variation of a comb sorter diagram this is the fiber length and percentage of fiber so as you move along the length and in case of 
मिडल जोन तो मिडल जोन दिस इज अ टिपिकल मिडल जोन एंड इन दिस मिडल जोन द लेंथ वेरिएशन इज टिपिकली लो कंपेयर टू द फ्रंट कंपेयर टू द टॉप एंड द एंड जोन सो ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर लोअर फाइबर लेंथ वेरिएशन This is a textile testing, simple, basic question of one mark, and comp sorter diagram is very important for gate textiles. Every year, or the other, um, one question is directly asked from comp sorter diagram, either numerical or theory directly. Now coming to the next question. Is covering and cold moisturization of cotton are carried out by treatment with? aqueous sodium hydroxide the process parameters that differ in the two processes are in this question this is a typical one mark question in this question they basically ask what is the difference in the process parameters between the two processes that are used in the cotton processing so if you know what is the use of sodium hydroxide it is used as an alkali but the concentration in scouring as well as in moisturization is different as the role of the D in these two processes are different and depending upon the functions and the process per process the mm, concentration temperature and time varies in both the processes so every parameter is different in scouring and cold moisturization so option d is the right answer temperature treatment time and alkali concentration now coming to the next question woven fabrics can be dyed in open width form in jigger winch jet dyeing or and beam dyeing so in which it, uh, in which type of machine these fabrics are dyed in open width form if you have read all these machines these machines are very important for textile processing people and uh, gate questions so you should remember the individual functions the rules the process parameters such as m is to l ratio open width form closed width form the temperature and which type of fabrics can be dyed in uh, which machines so these things becomes important and you should know all these things when these are very important and these are asked every years these are a direct question and it is asked in the recent one mark question and it is asked every year in one or the other form so if you know in open width form jigger and beam dyeing machine the fabrics can be dyed in open width form in these types two types of machines in open width form what is the meaning of open width form in this type in this type the fabric is held openly without the use of any closed kind of machine and the fabric is uh, runs is uh speedly in the process and in closed kind of dyeing kind of thing it is surrounded by a closed machine where the temperature can be controlled and whereas in open width form no temperature control can be done in uh, open width form so this is a basic difference and jigger and beam dyeing machines can be used in open width form now coming to the next question so it is also a one mark question in this it is asked that molecular weight in gram per mole of polypropylene with a degree of polymerization of 1000 rounded off to the nearest integer is so if you know the structure of polypropylene it is c3h6 and the molecular weight becomes carbon the molecular weight of carbon is 12 to 12 into 3 plus 6 into 1 the molecular weight of hydrogen is 1 so 36 plus 6 becomes 42 and if you know the formula of molecular weight of polypropylene with a degree of polymerization since n is 1000 n degree of polymerization is 1000 and for one molecule of polypropylene um, the molecular weight is 42 so for 1000 molecules of uh, polypropylene the molecular weight becomes n into 42 so 42000 that is the answer